Uh, very good afternoon to all of you. Thank you for joining us this afternoon for a special media briefing on Prime Minister's forthcoming visit to Japan to attend the state funeral of former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. Um, actually, Prime Minister would be taking off in a few hours, so without further ado, I will hand over to Foreign Secretary, sir. Thank you, Varindam, and uh, good afternoon, uh, all of you, for coming here this afternoon for this special briefing on Prime Minister's uh, upcoming visit to Japan. Um, as Arinda mentioned, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be visiting Tokyo, Japan. He'll be leaving in a few hours from now, today, to attend the state funeral of former Prime Minister of Japan, Shinzo Abe. During this visit, the Prime Minister will attend the state funeral ceremony at Budokan which would be followed by a greeting occasion at the Akasaka Palace in Tokyo. He will also meet Prime Minister Kishida and Mrs. Abe during this visit. We understand that representatives from over 100 countries, including more than 20 heads of state and heads of government, are expected to participate in the state funeral tomorrow. You would recall that India had announced one day national mourning on 9th of July 2022 as a mark of respect for Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. This visit by Prime Minister Modi will be an opportunity for him to honour the memory of former Prime Minister Abe, who he considered a dear friend and a great champion of India-Japan relationship. Prime Minister Modi and Prime Minister Abe had developed a personal bond of trust and friendship through their numerous meetings and interactions spanning over a decade, beginning from Prime Minister Modi's visit to Japan in 2007 as the then Chief Minister of Gujarat. The two leaders made enormous contributions and were singularly responsible for elevating India-Japan relations to the status of special, strategic and global partnership in 2014. Prime Minister Abe made significant contributions to deepening India-Japan relations, turning a largely economic relationship into a broad, comprehensive and strategic partnership, making it pivotal for the security of both our countries and also for region's security. Prime Minister Abe's famous quote-unquote confluence of two seas speech in the Indian Parliament in 2007 laid the ground for the emergence of Indo-Pacific region as a contemporary political, strategic and economic reality. Prime Minister Abe's contribution to India-Japan relations was recognized by the conferment upon him of the prestigious Padma Vibhushana in 2021. This visit of Prime Minister Modi to Japan comes after Prime Minister Kishida's visit to India for India-Japan summit meeting earlier in March this year and Prime Minister Modi's visit to Japan for the Quads Leader Summit in May this year. Prime Minister Modi and Prime Minister Kishida had also held a bilateral meeting on the sidelines of the Quad Leaders Summit in May. These meetings have underscored the two leaders' continuing commitment towards further deepening India-Japan ties. This year marks the 70th anniversary of India-Japan diplomatic relationship. Today, as we all know, Japan is one of the most trusted and valued strategic partners of India. The two sides are committed to strengthening bilateral partnership in key areas that include trade and investment, defence and security, climate change, health security, infrastructure, digital space, industrial development, energy and critical and emerging technologies and human resources among others. There is a deep convergence in our visions of Indo-Pacific region and there is close cooperation between our countries 
on issues of international importance. The bilateral meeting between Prime Minister Modi and Prime Minister Kishida during the upcoming visit will be an opportunity for the two leaders to reaffirm their commitment to further strengthening of India-Japan special strategic and global partnership. I would stop here and would take a few questions. Thank you, sir. Necessary. Thank um, you. We'll open the floor for questions. Please introduce yourself and the organization. Please. Akhilesh. So I'm Akhilesh Saman from Sunset TV. Uh, do you foresee any other bilateral meeting during this visit? Okay. Siddhan? So the question basically was um, on any other bilateral meeting, but of course, uh, uh, how long this visit will be? I mean, it's a 24 hour long visit, if you can give that detail. He leaves today and to comes tomorrow. So one more hand. Yes. Uh, thank you very much. I, my name is Takashi. Ishihara from the Asai Shimbun Japanese Daily Newspaper. I just want, would like to ask you, is there any plan for Prime Minister Abe to make the new condolence for the Prime Minister Abe? Would you repeat that? I think you made a mistake somewhere. Uh, mis uh, sorry. Uh, is there any plan for Prime Minister Modi uh, to make the, any other uh, condolence again for the funeral of the Prime Minister, uh, former Prime Minister of Abe? Any other condolence? Yeah. Uh, we, we are aware of the the Prime Minister Modi already gave the sincere condolence uh, and the long message. Okay, thank you. Uh, maybe we'll take three rounds and then take, just come back. So this, this yeah, yeah, and we'll take another round. Yeah. Okay, In so far as uh, any other bilateral meetings are concerned, no, at this stage there are no other bilateral meetings scheduled during the upcoming visit of the Prime Minister. Uh, I uh, am not sort of uh, fully in, in terms of details of the schedule, but we understand that the duration of the visit would stretch anywhere between 12 to 16 hours. 12 to 16 hours, basically, uh, uh, from the departure to the departure from Tokyo. Um, with regard to your uh, question, Mr. Takashi, uh, uh, as you know, um, as I mentioned also in my opening remarks, that uh, we had declared a, a day of national mourning on, uh, on when, when, the, when the Prime Minister Abe uh, departed this world. Um, and uh, my Prime Minister, who holds uh, pr former Prime Minister Abe, uh, a very dear friend, had also conveyed his condolences, sincerest condolences at that time. During this visit, my Prime Minister will have uh, the opportunity to participate along with representatives of 100 other countries, roughly, as I said, along with the 20 heads of state and government to participate in the state funeral. But also, along with that, have an opportunity to meet Prime Minister Kashida and Mrs. Abe to convey his condolences in person to the country, to the nation, and to the leadership, and to Mrs. Abe uh, while he's there. Thank you. Yeshi. Uh, this is Yeshi Seli from the New Indian Express. Uh, are talks around the bulletin going to be a part of the bilateral that uh, he's, uh, that PM Modi is going to have with? Uh, Smita Sharma, Foreign Secretary, just a clarification. Is there going to be like a structured delegation level talk with Prime Minister Kishida or is it just a greeting, uh, really a curtsy call? I thought I saw one more hand, I will close it with that. If not, so the floor is yours. Uh, sorry, there was a question. So we'll take it in this round. Uh, hello, this is Tamami Kawakami from the Mainichi Newspaper Agency. Uh, I just have some technical, uh, I just have some questions regarding, re re and, and, like, regarding technical issues. Will there be a press conference after the bilateral meeting? During the upcoming visit of uh, Prime Minister to Japan, uh, as I said, he would, of course, have a, a greeting occasion with Prime Minister Kishida uh, to convey his condolences in person. But in addition to that, Prime Minister Modi will also have a brief bilateral meeting with Prime Minister Kishida. Naturally, the relevant people involved uh, from the two sides will be, avail uh, will be available and participating in these discussions. Um, the discussions uh, will take account and will take a very 
quick overview and assessment of the uh, overall relationship, its current status, its trajectory, its progress, and the measures that they do both need to take to take to progress it further. Has also uh, used this occasion uh, of their meeting between the two prime minister to reaffirm their continuing commitment and the strong efforts that the stakeholders on both sides continue to make to promote and uh, progress this relationship further. Uh, I don't think it would be correct to single out one particular item uh, in this conversation. Um, I think uh, in that answer, I probably covered the question that Ms. Sharma also asked with regard to uh, whether it's only a greeting curtsy call, which is a separate call in addition to a bilateral that the two prime minister will hold. With regard to the press conference after the, uh, after the prime minister's visit, that schedule is still evolving. We'll keep you posted as it develops. Um, thank you very much, Foreign Secretary, sir. As we also have the privilege of having with us uh, Shushilpa Kambule, Joint Secretary, East Asia Division in the Ministry of External Affairs. Thank you for your presence. Thank you, all of you, for this press briefing. Um, anybody has any other question? <laughs> if there are no other questions, we'll close it for you. Thank you. Sorry, I can't hear you. You know the microphone. Sorry. Uh, you have a query? Uh, yeah. Okay. There is an occasion when all the Quad leaders will be there, though uh, U.S. President is not coming, but uh, uh, Vice President is coming. So is there any chance of having even informal meeting among the Quad leaders <laughs> in this time? Uh, anybody else the last minute I missed out? <laughs> yeah, please go ahead. So what, ex what time exactly is the Prime Minister scheduled to leave? You know that for security reasons we don't give exact but time, but sir, will <laughs> give us some broader. And nobody else? Thank you, sir. All yours. Uh, it would be totally incorrect, inappropriate, and unfair for me to comment on Prime Minister's uh, schedule, really. But with regard to your query, if there would be any other informal uh, meeting of the Quad leaders, as I've said, at this stage, there are no bilateral or any other meetings planned during the Prime Minister's meeting, uh, visit to Japan, other than one brief bilateral meeting with Prime Minister Kishida. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us.